Hello. I forgot about this game. <laughs> My Steam says I last played it October 3rd. That was three weeks ago. So. I forgot it existed. Forgot I was playing it. Fucking forgot all of it. So, welcome back to Voice of Cards, the Isle Dragon Roars. I have no idea what I'm doing. Follow the road leading out of Nexton. That's easy. That part's easy. Okay, how much do I remember? That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, and then I drag it, okay. That was annoying. All right, that works. Guys, I had her use her better spell. Finish it off. There we go. I don't remember these characters' names. leveled up. Ooh, now has lightning strike. Melanie leveled up. Now has Zephyr. What's the other thing? You, what are you? Party. Who are you? I got nothing. Okay. I guess we don't need to know, do we? Alright. This way to Thryston. Is that where I'm supposed to be going? I guess we could stay on the path. You kick a rock down the road. Muttering about what jerks those three from the Ivory Order are. Cut it out, chides Melanie. She warns you your anger will only come back to bite you in the rear. <laughs> you grumble, but your soaking is cut short when out of the thicket leaps a monster. Why is this monster's skin perfectly pinstriped? The rock you kicked must have hit it, because it is really mad. Brace yourself for battle. I'm braced. Oh, he has a lot of life. Okay. Let's use your new lightning strike. Roll with the ender key. Well, that was pathetic. Anytime you're supposed to ro roll and you roll one, it's probably bad. Alright, that was nice. Ow! Here, I'm body slamming. Got another fucking one. Really? Yay! Oh, 
Mar, that's your name. Mar leveled up. Mar didn't learn anything new. I'm assuming I'm supposed to go to Thryston since it's here. Visit the good doctor. Lucky for you, there are all sorts of establishments in town to support you on your adventure. Would you care to have them explain? Yeah, because I haven't played in three weeks and I remember shit. The inn, rest to recover HP, apothecary, items to cure, armor, weapons and armor, no shit. Item shop, okay. Game parlor. Carriage shop, okay, that allows you to sort of fast travel, I guess. Alright. It seems the sound of a flute could once often be heard coming from the doctor's house. His neighbors complained about the noise, though. And all has been quiet since. Apparently monsters have been mugging people along this stretch of road lately. Well that sucks. The Ivory Order is searching for where they're stashing the stolen goods. We'll find it. What, can I do anything with the well? Apparently not. The man says you'll need a torch to explore caves, and he adds, it just so happens you can buy them at the item shop. You get the feeling he probably works for said shop. Well, yeah, but like, I mean, he's got a point, right? Do we have any torches? I don't fuck if I know. Let's find out. Torches. Do I just need one, or do I need, like, one for every person? We're gonna buy one and hope that's enough. Generate gems, that's nice, but I don't want to use. Hmm, well, that's nice, too. I might actually go ahead and do that. Of course, I'm doing that, and I haven't actually done a dungeon yet in this game, so... For all I know, I don't need it. Let's see what this person has to say. Scrub, scrub. He's a bathing man. Why are we approaching a man who's bathing? Let that man bathe in peace. The man scours his skin with a washcloth, trying to rid himself of all odor. You're probably being pissy. Apparently, he blames his natural musk for his unlucky love life. <laughs> you catch a whiff of scent wafting off him. It is rather pungent. Sir, you have a rather pungent odor. Probably An good you're taking a bath. You. Maybe getting rid of the toxins within the body would get rid of the odor without, too. Mm. Do I have an antidote? Sure, give it to him. Why not? You hand him an antidote and he chugs it down. As soon as he's finished, the odor completely disappears. Look at us. Look at us being good Samaritans, just helping people. Overjoyed, the man resolves to tell the person he likes how he feels. You go right on ahead and shoot your shot. Dress pocket, the man pulls out something to give you in thanks. A two. He gave us a two. Okay. Let me look. Collection. Items. Okay, we do still have one. No, those are. That's not what I want. Owned cards. That's what I need. Items. Lots of salves. Okay, we do still have an antidote. We have a revive. Okay. Mm 
Let's go to the end. Well, if it isn't the head of the National Inn Association's son, the innkeeper blurts out, overcome with surprise. You've clearly been mistaken for someone else, but the innkeeper looks so excited that you dare not burst her bubble. Your room is free. Yeah, but you should burst her bubble because she's gonna find out. Next time she sees the dude, she's gonna like, I don't know, mention the last time he was here and he's gonna be like, I wasn't there then. Yeah, I know, doctor's house. I'm busy. The woman tells you a monster stole something very valuable from her. If Madam. Only someone, what did it steal, you ask? Medicine. Medicine, says the woman, to give my skin a lustrous glow. There's a lot of um, people worried about their um, vanity sort of things here, right? We have the dude worrying about odor, and then this woman wants her skin to glow. Let's buy another antidote. Let's buy two. There we go. That way we have one for each person. Okay. Yes, that will be all. The woman, who fashions herself a missionary of love, haughtily cries she's too beautiful and popular for her own good. Here we are with some vanity again. Let's check out the armor. That would be good for him, it appears, yes. Let's do it then. Buy and equip. That won't have any effect. That would be good for her. Let's do that. Buy and equip. Melanie is all set. Iron armor. Nope. Steel breastplate. Would be good for Mar. I don't know if I want to. That would be good for her. That would be good for all of them. Interesting. Okay. So, I have something for 500, 600, and 500 that I need. Mm. Let's... Hang on. Okay, let's go ahead and get the one for Mar. And then let's sell all that shit we just took off. This one, deal. This one, deal. And this one, deal. Well, do I have anything I want to sell in items? I do have an awful lot of salves, but they're only five gold to sell them, so. I'll just keep them. All right. We got a few upgrades. That's nice. All right. Let's go to the doctor's house. Cyprian Ombre. I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry. Cyprian Amber has lived here for many years. 
conducting research on monsters. All the townsfolk affectionately call him Cipri. That's great, because his name is way too long. All right, Cipri, what's up? If anyone knows anything about the dragon, it's him. He's a veritable monster expert. Yeah, I vaguely remember there's a dragon we're supposed to go kill. And the queen, I think she was a queen, gave us a quest for. Well, yeah, let's ask. You ask Cipri if he knows anything about the dragon. Well, do you, Cipri? He says he'll tell you if you do him a favor. Of course. The monsters stole a precious treasure from him. Oh, everybody getting treasure stolen. If you reclaim the treasure, Cipri promises to tell you all he knows about the dragon. Sure. I mean, we kind of have to. The treasure thieving monster makes its hideout in the western cave. That's where you'll want to head. Yeah, let's go. Ugh. I had a fuzzy in my mouth. No, oh, I didn't mean to. St I didn't. I didn't mean to. No, I didn't mean to go to the carriage shop. One hundred. You will Look. be instantly transported no. to any location you've previously visited. Travel for one hundred gold pieces. All right. West. What we got? Um, a slimy thing? A jelly? Let's just try regular attacks. Yeah, I'd say that was enough. It was not a fight for the ages. It was over in one fucking hit. I'm assuming we have to wander off the path and go west. We found... There we go. I'm going to say we found mountains that seems like we should be close to caves. Are we level three? I don't know what level I am. Hang on. I don't fucking know. Alright, yes. We're level three. Yeah, let's enter. Light can't reach the furthest depths of the cave. It may be impossible to proceed without a torch. Yeah, the man in town warned us. What will you do? Use the fucking torch. You light the torch. <laughs> It'll be much easier to explore now with your surroundings better illuminated. Mm-hmm. Did Cipri even Though tell us what the possession was? Your immediate surroundings, you still cannot peer far into the distance. I would imagine. Your ability to manipulate the camera has been restricted. Well, I didn't know how the fuck to manipulate it anyway, so. Let's do this. Six. That's nice. Rude. That's right, bitch.
Can we use salves outside of combat or only in combat? Use Melanie. All right, there we go. Back, 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 all the back. Let's go this way. Go down, because I feel like this is, yeah. We're hitting a wall here, so. I like to explore everywhere. I'm sure many of you that grew up on RPG games are the same. Way. The end. This strange mushroom creature. Very dramatic when they die. someone who's level four. Of course, an enemy appears. Why wouldn't an enemy appear? Don't hold back. Two mushroomy guys. Three. We're not great, but all right. Left his ass with two damage. I'll let her finish it off. And then Mar can try to take out the other mushroom. No, oh, pretty good. Five and a six. Good job, Mar. Ash leveled up. Got an oil pot. Yeah, not as good. Yeah, didn't finish him off. You finish him off. A set number, okay. Cards cannot be afflicted with more than one ailment. Good to know. Check card ailments with the E key. Well, so if Mar kills it, and Mar should, then uh, the poison will be gone. It will never do any damage. Although it was not quite enough to kill him. Finish him off. Victory 
free. You fulfill the necessary requirements and unlock Red Fungo's enemy story. I vaguely remember this shit. Is it under collections? Monsters? Red Fungo. Fiercely territorial. Killing all who set foot on their land and turning the corpses into Red Fungo colonies. Forest creatures fear their swelling ranks. Forest dwellers so covet the red fungo as a health food that they leave monster carcasses in the forest and return to collect them once the fungos have colonized them. Alright. Now we go up. I'm gonna go to the right first. Let's do this. Not your best roll, kiddo. But it worked. Still did the damage I needed. I figured if there are elemental weaknesses in this game, a mushroom is going to be weak to fire. Orc Child's Enemy Story. Well, I have to go check it out because I'm not going to remember to go back later and look. It's not going to happen, you know? So I'm assuming I already... No. No, you're not it. You are, aren't you? Yes, orc child. Listen carefully in any woodland and you're bound to hear the methodical tap-tapping of these little fellows' wooden mallets. Monsters consider them master crafts orc. Night after night, the orc children scour the corpses of the monsters they've killed, searching for the raw materials necessary to make their next instrument of death. So they're crafters, that's nice. For them, not for me. I don't go through a door. That seems like, you know new area. Are you having fun playing with your toy? Loki is just having a field day with a toy. Although I think you might have just lost it under my desk. Let's do this. Really? I know, you just lost it. I don't know what you want me to do about it, kiddo. It's underneath there now. I'm not pulling out furniture right now. Well, you have plenty of other toys around here. There's like eight springs. Go get one of your springs. Hey, Dilly. You're silly. A chest. 400 gold. I like that. Yes, honey. Oh, there's a spring. You almost had it out of my reach, kiddo. Don't hold that. There you go. For four, not bad. Another chest. 
A sphere. Is that what's his name's treasure? Could be. Alright, we'll go back to the door now. Hang on, we gotta find an enemy first. Now, hey, Loki, did you bring your spring back for me to throw again? I don't see it. Oh, you did. It's under my feet. Oh my god. Oh, I'm too old for this shit. Okay, let's fight an enemy. Easy peasy, one skeleton. I mean, not great if all you're rolling is ones, though. Alright, get it together. Some strange force keeps it barred. Upon closer examination of the door, we spot a cavity that looks like some sort of sphere should go. Through. We already got the sphere. Yes. You put the magic sphere into the cavity, and the door opens. Chest. A revive. Cool. Revives are nice. Oh, there's steps leading down. Jump to Western Cave Level 2, apparently. Yeah. Why, baby? He's so cute. All of a sudden, I felt... His little toe beans on my arm. Wait, where'd you put the spray? Okay. We need a designated spot. Okay, we need to put something here on the floor that you always put it there. Instead of me having to search for the spring every time. I want to change this cat's eyes to blue, but I have no fucking idea how to do that. Bye, honey. I don't know if you can hear his little trilling. Oh, sorry, I needed to click. I forgot I had to click to make it happen. Crit, nice. Oh? oh? That's what the narrator said? Oh? <laughs> you did great. I know. Treasure discovered. Ooh. One, two, or three, Loki. Loki does not give a fuck. Loki's like, throw my spring. Hang on, I gotta pick a treasure chest. Let's go with three. Another revive. Oh, an event. A claret trail leads you deeper into the cave. Was the walking wounded a monster or a human? Unknown. Where did you put your spring? Good God. I don't see it, sweetheart. And if I can't see it, I can't throw it for you. So bring me another toy. Goodness. Sorry, my little VTuber kitty's going crazy when I'm not in front of the... You raise the torch to get a better look at your surroundings. The walls have been gouged and scarred as far as you can see. Lovely. Another message comes into view, written in tiny letters among the scars. I will find you. <laughs> what horrors transpired here? Bad ones. The very bad kind. Okay, hang on one second. One second. I'm gonna do a thing.
I'm doing a thing. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang the fuck on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hi. I decided to say hi. I wear my little bitchy hat. Bend that up. Otherwise, it hits my back. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. Now you can see facial expressions. My little kitty couldn't do that. All right. Let's go to the right. Not liking how we're looking on the webcam today, but hey, that's the life. Here, let's stop the, uh, that helps. Yeah, not having that, uh, lit from under. Oh, we rolled a five. Fives are good. Yeah, you overkilled it. Good job. Not the best rolls ever. Ooh! He's trying to kill her. Better. Thanks. Victory! Ash leveled up. Oh, he has cure now. Melanie leveled up. <clears throat> An event. You press, you press on. on. Deeper into the cave. Light floods into the chamber. Illuminating a scene so startling, you nearly drop the torch altogether. Two mummified bodies lie close beside one another, their hands clasped together. Interesting. Beside them, a message written in blood. We leave together. Perhaps they were lovers? Whatever the case, you notice the bellwether nestled in their hands. You gently pry it free, bend a knee, and say a small prayer for the dearly departed. You mean I didn't need to buy one of those? Discussing about um, migraine stiffness. No, I was discussing that in the last one I was recording. Never mind. <sighs> Whatever. Figure it out. We got doubles, does that matter? Okay. 
finish it off. How nice. Mar leveled up. Roundhouse. I like that. Skull soldier. Is that what he is? Nope, he's an ogre. You're not a skull. Nope, you're not. Oh, the skeleton, duh. A powerful curse clings to the bones of these former humans, which pry themselves from the grave in search of release to spell the curse to render them a pile of ordinary bones. Really? There once was a couple consumed by an ill-fated love, only to be reunited in undeath. So overjoyed were they at their good fortune that they both passed into a sweet, eternal slumber. Alright, interesting. make to open the chest but an ominous voice echoes around you I will not relinquish my hoard is this the dragon cuz dragons hoard the next instant something leaps at you out from the darkness boss fight we have different music Nope, it's a skeleton person. Got the enemy. Flame! Ash, Kara. Heal yourself, buddy. He crit healed. Nice work. fire was doing better, but I'm not 100% sure. That's nice. That's nice, 150 XP and 300 gold. The monster defeated, you turn toward the treasure chest. And see those ivory order jerks rooting through it. The fuck? You rush over. But you're too late to stop. Sweet of you to take care of the monsters for us, trills Winifred, 
favoring you with a smile. I don't like these fuckers. Tucking the spoils from the chest safely into a bag, the Ivory Order trio stroll away whence they came. Knowing you couldn't stop them if you tried, you can do nothing but stand slack-jawed and watch them go. The chest is empty, save for a ragged doll. Nice of them to leave us the trash, you grumble in irritation. For some reason, Melanie picks up the ragged doll. All right. Your shoulders slump. All that effort, and this is all you get to show for it? You find nothing else even close to treasure. Hope Cipri is ready for bad news. No. Leave now would be the fastest way out. But there's more to explore. We'll leave later. We'll use our item to leave. You decide to stay and explore the cave a little longer. We have to explore the rest of the cave. I don't know why I did it that way. Probably because I'm going to have him do his AoE attack. gotta explore this part up here and then we're done and that'll be the end of the video well I guess we'll go back and turn it in
All right. Resume. I figured there would be another chest. Ooh. All right. Now I believe we have uh, done everything. We're gonna fight an enemy before we get back into town. I'm betting that dude's treasure is that raggedy doll. Maybe it like belonged to his daughter or something. Who knows? The one. Enter Thryston. Alright, let me read those two enemy cards. The ogre and the little puffy ball thing. You. These creatures shed rapidly as they age. Upon losing the last of their fur, they cry out the remainder of their bodily fluids, leaving behind a nearly mummified husk. Look, I didn't need to know that, to be honest. Elgers spend their days endlessly training deep in their caves, lest their compatriots mock them for being scrawny. Alright. I don't really care about any of that. Let's talk to the doctor. Were you able to find my treasure? Cipri asks. This is all we found, says Melanie, withdrawing the ragged dog. Cipri's eyes widen. As soon as he sees the doll, and he reaches out to take it. Without breaking his gaze away from the doll, he begins to speak. Cipri tells you he gifted this doll to his young daughter a long time ago. Mm -hmm. But she fell gravely ill and died. But Since shouldn't then, he have said... Doll as he treasured his daughter, because most people would not have thought took it from that this is a treasure. Cipri turns to Melanie, his head bowed deeply in gratitude. So you reclaimed the treasure by complete accident. You step closer to Cipri. What do you know about the dragon? You rudely inquire. Cipri gestures as if to say, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Far to the east of town is a place called Unionville, where monsters and humans live together in harmony. According to Cipri, you might be able to learn something there as the dragon and monsters are not totally unrelated. Upon hearing that, you turn on your heel to leave. Cipri calls out to stop you. Journeying to Unionville entails traversing the dense expanse of the bewildering wood. You'll need this, he says, and holds out something for you.
Are we playing the Ocarina of Time? You won't make it through the bewildering wood without it, Sifri says. Your sights set on the distant Union Bill. You resolve to navigate through the bewildering wood. Now we have Sipri's flip side story. Collection, characters, Sipri. Sipri is a longtime scholar of monsters and monster behavior. Most people in his village simply call him Sipri. Sipri studies monsters for the sake of his daughter, a daughter whom, curiously, no one has ever seen. Well, didn't he already tell us she died? Did we already know that? I don't know. Alright! Well, thank you for joining me. I will see you in the next video. Bye!